Hi folks, Aid here from the Man Cave Studio this Sunday morning. So just showing you what I got up to yesterday with Dystopian Day. Uh, did have some good news. Um, Andy was dropping his daughter off at work. So while he was basically on the journey, he swung round. I left his half of the, the introduction box on the doorstep for him. Waved through the window like some lost ghost <laughs> as he came and collected it. Oh, these times, these times, they're doing my Um And then he picked him up. He's doing the Enlightenment, and I'm doing the Russians, and I'm going to show you the Russians that I've put together. You can see quite a bit um, in the box. I've put, I say I've put this together. There's only two pieces to go on, really, the, the top bit and the funnels at the back. Um, these go together fairly straightforward. You basically have two sides of a hull, a hollow underneath. So, and then the middle bit sinks in and then you build this bit in the middle but you know it probably took me I don't know a few hours because I had other stuff on the go I had problems with the video editing so I from start to finish all in trimmed cleaned I'd say four hours maybe might not even have been that I know that I finished four hours after I started but like I said I was um, doing bits and bobs in between. Um, now, the ships at the back, you can build different ways. Um, I did, I followed the instructions and basically, because I don't know the game at all, if I just go on to my history. So basically, uh, the instructions are on resources on the Dystopian Wars website. And then if you scroll down, um, keep going, Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You get the assembly guides, um, and they've done it all in one one place for the hunt for the uh, Prometheus, which is the name of the starter box set. Now this is the oh Enlightenment uh, ones. You get the two resin ones first, which I've managed to put together before we knew Andy was dropping his daughter off at work. And then there's all the plastic ones that Andy's putting together underneath there for the Enlightenment. And uh, you can see there again, you've got different ways of building the ships. Um, but because we don't know the game, we've decided to build them as they are on the box. Now there are some people on YouTube that are magnetizing everything and so they can take ships apart and put it together. But, you know, I, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. So this is the Russian ship. You can see the two pieces put together. Uh, they go on the top there and at the back. And then I scroll down. These are the smaller ships, which are known as the Ruick class frigates, um, which you get 10 of those in the box. And then you get five of these, which that's how I built the configuration, which is the Kutsov class cruisers soft class cruisers um, so that's how I built it um, and you can see there just two pages of instructions and then you get these interchangeable guns which you may have seen on the other ones um, and there's a lot of people uh, magnetizing those as well but gravity should do the job it should rest inside there they've got a turret underneath they should be fine um, but you could instead of building them as the crust cuts off instead of building them as cuts off you could build them as Oleg as uh, two pages of Oleg, as Norilsk, sorry if I'm murdering the pronunciations, folks. Again, two pages of those. And then you've got the Sinius class. Uh, now, again, two pages of those and that's it. So there's four different ways there, I think I counted. But again, and I'm guessing they have different armaments, different strengths, different speeds, uh, different properties in the game. What, because I don't know what I'm doing, um, I stuck to what it says on the box and built it in this way. And I think Andy's going to be doing the same. So essentially, they're all put together. Like I say, I reckon four hours from start to finish, including cleaning the sprues as you do them. And all the turrets. Now, what I've done uh, to... Oh, while I'm still talking about this and the different ways, you can see the bits that you have left over on the sprue. There's not enough there to build another ship but there are, like I say, there's some people on the internet magnetizing these, putting them together so that they can build those. Now, I'm, I'm, like I say, I'm, I'm happy with those. I don't know them. 
Um, all the different turrets, and I think some of these are shield generators and some are different type of weapons. I've just tacked. Now, if I, I don't know how well the phone will show this. You can see the nodule underneath. Uh, those nodules essentially go into these uh, inner circles on the platforms, um, which is good because, like I say, there are some people dropping magnets in, but uh, I don't intend playing on board ship. I intend playing on land and on the table, so they should be fine. But then again, I've never played the game, so who knows? So I've just put a spot of super glue on all of those and an old piece of plastic. I can go out and spray those now and paint them all up as they are. And then eventually I'll just pop them off because the super glue won't hold. Uh, if I do a quick example of that, and then that can go back in, you know, to wherever it needs to go. Um, so lots of components. I'll glue that on again in a minute and spray it. Lots of components, lots of variety. Be interested to see what Andy does with the Enlightened. Um, he's going to go on the paint tray today because um, I've got some other stuff that I'm spraying up. Also got a building on the go on the old 3D printer. That's the front of a cathedral, which is taking 16 hours. So uh, good times. I'll um, I'll let you know. I I'll spray them up and start painting them. I don't know how long they'll take to paint because the Russian ships are pretty much metal. I'll, what I'll probably do first is I'll paint one of each as a test piece to see if that works for the rest of the fleet and do a video on those later tonight and I'll probably build it with these guns because that's what they're shown with on the box um, just for demonstration pieces uh, for the video for the uh, dystopian day that me and Andy are doing today even though it's like spilt over into a second day dystopian 24 hours doesn't sound as good as dystopian day does it so okay folks uh, the instructions are good don't come in the box but I honestly don't care about that and because I've been buying miniatures from Malifaux and War Cradle for years now I'm quite accustomed to it because it is a waste of paper and if it cuts down the cost then great uh, you know I'll uh, I'll upload a vid I'll see you later bye